Hey, what's up guys? Fonzie Mods back here with the second video of these tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Dash Launch onto your Xbox. You know, Dash Launch is what you use to swap out any mod menus. It's where you put your stealth server in, where you change the settings to get online. You can, can change fan speed. There's just, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it, but you just precautionary measure. Make sure you know what you're doing before you switch any of the settings, all right? So here we go. So I have the link to Dash Launch in the description down below. It's going to take you to my Dropbox. All right, and then you're just going to download this. Make sure you grab the whole folder, all right, because, you know, it, it's just one folder. So just grab this entire folder, unlike all the other ones where you have to open up the folder. You're going to grab it. You know, you're going to download it. Okay, so we're going to plug our flash drive in. I believe I already have it in my flash drive. So that's my dog. Yeah, so it's right there. But I'll do it with you guys. Okay. So you're going to grab dash launch right here. You're going to copy it onto your flash drive. Let's go replace. All right, wait for your flash drive. All right there, so it's all in. Now we're gonna plug our flash drive out of our computer and we're gonna go to the Xbox. So I totally forgot, you know, let's knock out a couple birds with one stone. All right, so let's see, we're on our flash drive. We have dash launch on here, all right? What you're gonna need also, you're gonna need XBDM right here. So this is gonna allow you to connect your Xbox to your computer. So let's see. So you have XBDM, you're gonna grab that, copy it onto your flash drive, and put yes. So now we have dash launch and XBDM. Okay? So now unplug your flash drive again and let's go back to the Xbox. Alright, so we're on our Xbox now. We're gonna go down to recent. You're gonna open up XEX menu. Again, if you have games, they're going to show up first. So you're going to want to press RB, your bumper. Okay, and now plug your flash drive in to your Xbox. It's going to pop up automatically. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to go to Dash Launch. You're going to press Y. You're going to copy. Press right on the D-pad. This one right here. You're gonna press Y and paste. It's gonna, yes, because I already have it on there, but it won't ask you. So now we have Dash Launch on here, okay? So now press left on the D pad, okay? And you're gonna search for XBDM right there. So you're gonna press Y. We're going to copy that. Press right on the D pad, press Y and paste. Already have it on there, so that's fine. Confirm. Perfect. Now we are ready to set up neighborhood. So you're gonna go to dash launch, you're gonna press start, and then go to installer and press start. It might ask you to update, which is fine. So go ahead and update it. Perfect. Now we are in dash launch. You can see this is a Trinity Glitch 2 running 17.5.11. The newest dash as of April 26, 2017. So we are going to go down to plugins. Whenever you guys are in dash launch, don't press B unless it tells you to because B quits dash launch the entire thing, okay? So we're going to go into plugin one. You're going to press A. You're going to go to your hard drive, your HDD. Press A. And now you are going to go to xbdm.xex and press A. Now we are ready. Okay. So later on, I'll teach you guys how to set up your stealth servers. You know, your stealth goes in two and then your mod menus, three, four, and five. But that's, that's for another video. Okay. So now to like, so let's say you want to close this. Don't press B. Just go back to the plugin and press A. Okay. So now we're going to save these settings, so we're going to press RB. Okay, you're going to go down to HDD. You're going to press X 
to save it, and then A to load your, it's your launch INI, it's what your Xbox uses to read all these plugins. I like to do it a couple times, so press A, wait a few seconds, I mean X, then A, then X, then A, you know, just to be safe. Now, unplug your flash drive. Alright, so just one more time, just to be safe. And now, turn off the Xbox. What I like to do, I like to unplug the power, just to be safe, alright? So, wait 30 seconds, and then we'll turn it back on. I'll see you guys in 30 seconds. Alright guys, we're back. So you want to make sure that you're either plugged in through the Ethernet cord, or you've already set up your wireless connection. Uh, that the Ethernet cord is going to be your best bet. Alright, so now go ahead and turn on your Xbox. I'll catch you guys back when it turns right, on. So our Xbox is on now. All right, you can just press B. You don't need to sign in. And it's on. Now we're gonna go to our computer. So now that we're back on here, okay, you've already gotten Xbox 360 neighborhood. You've installed it. Now we're going to set up our Xbox, okay? So you're gonna open this up. You're gonna grab this, okay? You're gonna get this actually. Add Xbox 360. You're going to double click. And it's going to open up the development kit wizard. You're going to go to next. If you know your IP address, this is the easiest thing. Just type in JTAG. You're going to type next. Would you like to use JTAG as the default? You can press yes because this is the only Xbox that you're going to be working with at your house. So press next. Yes. Finish. And there you have it. You are now connected to your Xbox. Right, that little check means that you're connected. Watch, let me go ahead and unplug the Ethernet cable. And then I'm going to refresh. I'm not connected via Wi-Fi, so it's not going to pick it up. See, you got a little question mark. So let me go ahead and plug this back in. And then refresh. All right, so there you go, guys. We are now connected to our Xbox, and this is how you plug in, or not plug in, but drag in all your mod menus and see all your games. Uh, but yeah, guys, you know, thanks for watching. Very next video, guys, I am going to show you how to put your mod menus, your Grand Theft Auto V mod menus, and your stealth servers. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, please like, subscribe, comment these videos. It really helps me out. You know, I'm doing these to help you guys out. Uh, I really hate it when people put links into the websites and it sends you to all these ads or whatnot. But I'm going to try to put the least ads that I can on these. Like I said, this is going to be your all-in-one. Everything is going to be included in this folder. Everything that you need. Everything that I use. So, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe, share these videos with your friends, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.